Hey, welcome back to the channel. So a little while ago, I did a video on how to install a couple of app stores on your Chromebook. I'll put a link up in the corner and down in the description if you want to check those out. But today I'm going to be showing you another method for getting Linux apps on your Chromebook, and that is using flat packs. Flatpak is just a way of packaging and deploying a Linux application that makes it very easy to install that application regardless of what version of Linux you're using, and that includes the native Linux support in Chrome OS. Once we get everything set up, you just install the application with one single command, and then it puts it in the start menu. You can launch it just like any other app, and it functions just like any other application on your Chromebook. Now, recently, there's been some issues getting flat packs to work in Chrome OS. I've overcome one of those issues, and I'm going to show you in this tutorial. So even if you've done this before, make sure you watch the whole thing, because I may have answered uh, one of the issues that you were having when you tried this before. So with that all out of the way, let's jump onto the Chromebook, and I'll show you how this is done. All right, so here we are on the Chromebook, and the first thing we need to do is set up the Linux support. Now, if you already have this set up on your system, you can just skip to the next section. I'll put some chapter markers down below. So let's get into this and just click down by the clock and then just go into the settings wheel. And then we're just gonna search for Linux in here. So we can see here this developer section, the Linux development environment, we're gonna turn that on and then just goes through the steps here. We'll hit next. You can name it whatever you want. Uh, you can use the recommended size or you can change a custom size. I'm gonna make this just a little bit bigger, do around 25 gigs or so, and then hit install. Now this is gonna take a few minutes to set up. Um, it's just setting up that Linux environment and then we'll come back when this is all done. Okay, so that installation is all done and when it's done, it's gonna pop up this terminal window. This is a Linux terminal. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for updates and we do that by typing in sudo apt update. Give that just a few seconds. It's gonna go and look for packages that need to be updated. You can see that we have 25 packages that can be upgraded. So we're gonna do sudo apt upgrade, and that's just gonna upgrade our system with those latest versions of the system files. So just let that run. It takes just a minute or so, and then we'll come back again. Okay, so we have Linux installed, it's all updated, and we are ready to set up the Flatpak support. It does not come pre-installed out of the box, but it's super easy to set up. All we're gonna do is type in sudo apt install Flatpak. And all these commands I type, I'll have them down in the description below. Um, so this is just set, telling us what packages that have found that Flatpak is, uh, requires. And we're gonna go ahead and hit yes to install all those. Now give it just a minute. This is a pretty quick install. Um, so once this is set up, we'll have Flatpak support, but we won't have access to install any applications because we need to add a repository. Now, a repository is basically just a database of all the applications that are set up to use Flatpak, and it tells us where to find it and where to install it. So we have to set up a, uh, a repository. Now we're gonna set up the FlatHub repository. I'm gonna go out to my notes and just cheat here and copy this. So we're gonna run this command, Flatpak user remote add, if not exists, FlatHub, and then the path. Again, I'll have this down in the description, but all this is doing is saying that we're gonna add the FlatHub repository if it doesn't already exist, and then this is the path to the FlatHub repository. So we're gonna copy that, go back to our terminal, and just paste it in there. And now we have that repository all set, and we're ready to install applications from, from FlatHub. So we're gonna go out to the FlatHub site, which is just flathub.org. So let me go back to the homepage. So when you go to flathub.org, you're gonna come to this page and you can click here to browse the applications. You can browse through the categories. If you know there's a specific application that you want, you can click this little button up here and uh, locate it. So, you know, say we're going through the categories and we wanna install Solitaire, we can go click on the application and then it brings us to this install page. Now this install button isn't gonna work because Linux is kind of running in a separate container on our Chromebook and we are in Chrome outside of that container. So there's no real link between here and there, but all we need to do is just scroll to the bottom here 
and we can see this install command. All this is gonna do is tell Flatpak how to install this version of Solitaire. So we're just gonna click, the, click this button to copy it into the clipboard. We're gonna go back to our terminal window and just right click. That's gonna paste it into our Linux terminal window and then hit enter. Now this is saying that it went out there and it found the application that we're looking for. We're gonna hit yes to install it. This is everything that it needs to make that application work. Again, we're gonna click yes to install it. And don't worry, all the stuff you're clicking yes to in here is perfectly safe. FlatHub is a huge repository that's widely used. It's completely safe. You're not gonna install anything illegal or any viruses or anything like that on your system. So don't worry about any of that. We're just gonna let this run for a little bit. And then uh, when it's all done, I'll come back again. Okay, so there we are. The application is all installed. Now there's two ways we can launch it. One is if we go back to this web page, we can copy this command to run it. Or if we go into our application menu, scroll to the bottom in our Linux apps folder, you're gonna see that it automatically puts a link for the application in there. Now, if this is the first time that you're installing a flat pack on your system, I would recommend that you run this command because there may be an issue that we're probably gonna run into in a second here, and I'm gonna show you how to fix that, but you only have to do it once. So if we just copy this to copy it into our clipboard again, go back to our terminal and paste that in. Let's go ahead and try to run this. Yeah, so this is the error that I was th thinking that we were gonna have. And this is one that I've seen a lot of people post about and not a lot of uh, posts on how to fix this. So we are gonna fix this issue right now and it's relatively easy to do. Again, I will have information on how to do this down in the description, but let's jump in and fix this right away. So to fix this, we're just gonna click on a Chrome window. We're gonna hit Control Alt T on our keyboard. That brings us into kind of another terminal window, but this is not the Linux terminal window. This is for your Chromebook. And we need this because we're gonna modify the container that Linux is running in. So first of all, we're gonna type in VSH Termina. And then we're gonna type kind of a, a long command again. So I'm gonna cheat a little bit again and go to my notes. We're gonna type in LXC config set penguin security dot nesting true. So that is just gonna change some of the security for our container and let us run those flat packs. So I'm just gonna copy that and then paste it in here, hit enter. And then all we need to do now is restart our Chromebook. So I'm gonna do that. And then uh, when I come back, we'll pick up the video again. Okay, so we're freshly rebooted and back on our uh, desktop here. So we're just gonna go in and because we have that flat pack fixed, we should be able to launch it from the link. So I'm just gonna go into Linux apps, into the IO Riot Solitaire and see if that launches. And it did. So now this is our Linux version of this IO Riot Solitaire game. We can play this. So if we, you know, move the nine over and six, um, this works just fine. You can install all kinds of applications from here. If we go back out to the FlatHub site, you can go and search and install any applications you want. You know, say we wanted to do GIMP, the image editor, we could do that. There is a version of Kden Live, which is a fantastic video editor. Uh, that's in here too. We can install that through FlatHub. It just makes it super easy to install. And if we wanna do one of these other ones, all we need to do is just run this install command from the terminal. And then it's gonna show up in our application launcher under the Linux apps. We'll just see whatever applications we installed. Super easy and they run just like any other application on your Chromebook. So there you go, we have everything set up. And again, whenever you want to install an application, just find it out in FlatHub, paste that install command in and it'll show up just like any other app. Now keep in mind that the Linux support in Chrome OS is not 100% compatible with every application. So some applications just aren't gonna work, but a uh, vast majority of the ones that I've tried that of course aren't graphically heavy or anything like that work just fine. So experiment with it and find out what applications work for you. 
Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this useful or informative. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you really liked it and you want to see more, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get notified when I put out more videos. Thanks so much for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one.